Hey everybody, welcome back to some more of the Guild 2 Renaissance. Uh, we have Mandy here, she's sick. I am. Um... Which is why I brought her in. Uh, because oh. <laughs> you 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 guys loved her her first single hit of Mandy Giggles dot MP3. Uh, now you have Mandy Coughs dot Flack. Um, and the best part is this is gonna be part one of a new series, and so they won't have listened to the previous series in which 15 minutes in you somehow got on the topic of how the first man executed in American history was for fucking a turkey. <laughs> Without further ado, <laughs> let's play the video game. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get to an equally absurd topic today. Oh god, you know we will. So we have 77 <laughs> people watching right now, which means we are above the amount we need for our partnership on Perfect. Twitch. We just gotta keep that average for 30 days, and there we go. Yep. Well, we can go below it. It's just the average over the last 30 days have to be in it. Which mm -hmm. means if at the end of March, we're like at 74th, then fuck it, we can just have one more stream and make it really popular, and then boom. It doesn't- it doesn't literally need to be within March. It's just, you know, it's our goal. Anyway, uh, let's play the game. So, I want to do... I think it's Ulm. Um, I've gotten into- we, we usually do the Hansa, which is, uh, four cities. It's the biggest map in the game. What I found is actually- I've been having a lot of fun recently playing on, um, I think it was Ulm, where it's very large, but it's one city. The game runs far, far faster because the game has performance issues. It's not really my computer. It's running fine. I can see my stats on the other screen. But um, it's it's an old game. And it wasn't well made at the time in terms of programming. Uh, but uh, it's a lot more aggressive when you have one city because you're really forced to compete. And the mm -hmm. AI are really forced to compete. Now we're, on, now we're on the legacy mod, which is a fan mod that makes the AI significantly less stupid. Um, it doesn't really change any serious gameplay stuff, but it makes the AI significantly less stupid. Um, so if there are rogues in our match, which chances are there will be, they will be cruel to us. So we will need to hire bodyguards and stuff. Hey, Ash. Uh, Ash says we're a disgrust tank. I love wrong. you, Ash! Yes, I know you missed Ash. Everybody I misses miss Ash. I missed Ash so bad. Uh, how terrible is Guild 3 right now? Any updates since you last played? I've been keeping in touch with Morgan. Uh, she's one of my friends and people in the chat who plays Guild 3. And she's telling me that the game is basically the same as it was on launch, except um, less crash prone. So still not worth playing on the show yet. It's unfortunate because I really want to bring you guys some Guild 3 stuff. Like, everybody's been asking for Guild 3, and I want to show you Guild 3. Just, I'm waiting for it to not be completely shit. I don't want to let you guys down. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to do Ulm. Um, let's have uh, six dynasties. I don't want to go too overkill. And we did Rogue before. And that gets really boring really fast, although rogues can be kind of fun. It's really automated. And we already did scholars. We should do either um, patron or craftsman this time. The more traditional ones. Mm -hmm. Play Guild 4. Guild 4 doesn't exist, you tricky bitch. Oh my god, Cockdong is here. Cockdong is here. Hi, um, Cockdong! See? See? You're having fun. Everybody's having fun. Everybody. Everybody is having fun. <laughs> or else. All right, first name man, last name bar. Sorry, we're taking so long to start this. I'm just, you know. <laughs> you knew what you came into when I put Mandy's name in the title. Okay, so um, if anyone's watching this video and you're new to the Guild 2 and you're not here for the comedy, you're just here to learn the game, you click the wrong video, check out the description. <laughs> I'll have a playlist of my tutorial series on this game. The tutorial series is totally serious, not comedy. This is comedy, because I could do this game with my eyes closed at this point. I've played it for so many years. So this is comedy, and a little bit of you watching how to make the game really boring by beating it really, really fast. If you came here for an education, that was your first mistake. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. Didn't you see Mandy's name in the title? You know what this is getting into. You should go take some morphine again. That worked out really well on that one stream. I could really go for some morphine. Chat wants me to make JonTron. You can make an immaculate JonTron in this game. It's really you weird. Can. I love it. It's so strange. Okay, so uh, we're picking between uh, patron 
and Craftsman. We're going to eyeball it based on what the chat, uh, the chat, between by what the chat <laughs> votes. Uh, patron works in food industry mostly. We'll, we'll run farms. We'll run like a tavern where we make our porridge and our beers and everything. And we'll have, it's kind of low risk, low reward, although you can get very wealthy with it where you tend to have a strong control over the natural goods, you know, running a tavern and all that, a bake shop, sweet shop. Um, and a craftsman is like carpenters, blacksmiths, um, jewel crafters. Uh, you can be a mason, stuff like that, uh, where it's high risk, high reward tends to be a bit of an investment to get it off the ground. Uh, but your goods tend to sell for a lot of money. Yeah, we're not doing Rogue or Scholar because we already streamed those. You should make a patron and have him run a subway and deny everybody 72 cookies. I could make a bake shop as a patron because that's your thing <laughs> is not allowing family. people to have 72 cookies <laughs> on demand. <laughs> I need to send you this series, Mandy, where... Uh, this this animator animated uh, a storytelling he did of like a bunch of funny stories of when he used to work at Subway. Uh -huh. And it's just really funny. I need to send those to you. Oh my God, okay. I think he called them Subway or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually think I've watched those. Oh, they're so good. They're really funny. And I There's can like relate three to like everything he says. Yes. Oh, it's so good. Um... Oh, people want me to make John Luke from Duck Dynasty? I did a <laughs> Duck Dynasty Let's Play recently of, like, a shovelware Duck Dynasty game. It was... Okay, well, it was awful, but the Let's Play was great. That's awesome. I don't know if I can make John Luke in this. It's hard to make someone who looks like video game John Luke, you know? <laughs> um. Alright. It looks like the majority of people... Just eyeballing it. Did the majority of people pick Craftsman? I think it might have been Craftsman they went. A lot of them said patron. Really? Yeah. Everybody, everybody yell stuff. Chat, yell things. Please, <laughs> please, please yell at us. Um, if you give me a few minutes, like, I can count how, how many. So the counting's hard. Um, also, are we Catholic or Protestant? Carmelon Archer says loud noises. And Todd Smasher is just typing a bunch of A's and R's and stuff. I think that means craftsman, but I'm not. Wow, it is actually pretty even. I yelled, uh, no, the police are coming over, says Ash. <laughs> I think Ash is lying to us. I think patron wins. Like, it's it's like eight versus, really? eight versus six. Wow, okay, patron it is. We're going to run a tavern and a bake shop called yeah. Sawubwe or whatever. Please! Please call it some way. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do our stats now. Constitution is always a really strong opener, just because it's your lifespan as well as your health, and we're gonna get waylaid probably by bandits. Um, but it's also your lifespan, so it's really important to max that at some point. It's why your zodiac sign you always pick Aries, because you can go past your maximum skill um, with your zodiac sign. So you always do Aries because that's Constitution, which gets you up to eleven Constitution, and you can do fifteen if you pick the right perks. I think the absolute longest you can live in this game is like fucking 170 if you pick the right traits and uh, and zodiac signs and stuff. It's ridiculous how long you can live. Um, but you can see as a patron, we actually had a discount on buying uh, constitution points, <laughs> which is pretty nice. David McScavage says he can't wait until we get a Jared. Oh, yeah. I hope one of our employees is called Jared. And oh there's a God. dog whose feet are not matching up with the steps, and now it's running into a fountain. That was weird. Good. That's the best doggo. Everybody okay, my let's... Dog. Let's, uh... Okay, well, first of all, this doesn't look like John Luke or John Tron. Hold on, can I make a really good John Tron right now just to show you guys that you're able yes. to make a really good John Tron? I'm up for this. It was, uh... Well, first of all, I gotta do the beard. Where, where was the right beard? Fatima's going, so I just waved at her. Uh, right, is, it's... No, 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 he's got the full sides, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, he's got this. And yeah. then it's gotta be black. Let me... Oop. That looks right. Uh, uh, 
Oh, wow. Is there not? Come on. Where's... Is that the closest we can get to black? Wow, these hair color choices are, are worse than I remembered. Okay, this will have to do. And we need to get the hair. I now, like it depends the, on what era of John Tron we're going for. I like the, the thick side swept hair that he had. Oops. Uh, I don't want a hat. Get rid of the hat. Oh, I guess that hairstyle always has a hat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh... Man, maybe it was as a craftsman you could make a really good one, because some people have different hairstyle choices. Damn, that's not as good of a Jontron as you can make with other classes. Whatever. Let's uh let's see if we can do John Luke. We'll see how much of a John Luke we can make. You need a big ass beard for that. No, John Luke in uh in what's it called? Uh Dark Dynasty did not have a beard, he's the kid. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't watch Duck Dynasty, but I played the video game. And isn't it the <laughs> same thing? Absolutely. Alright. Ooh, that might be the closest we can get. Oh, no, that's closer. <laughs> can- Oh, ooh, that's gonna be John Luke right there. <laughs> yeah. John of the- of the Luke family. I don't know what is it was he John Luke Robertson whatever no his name is John Luke. <laughs> John. Luke. This is alternate history, all right, guys. <laughs> I mean, he's the founder of Subway, of course it is. Yeah. Oh god, I love that we're like probably 20 minutes into the recording and we just started the game. <laughs> all right, I haven't played in a little while, but I'm sure it'll go perfectly fine. So, uh immediately we are just going to purchase a title. So, let's get down to business. Uh, yes, I accept the title, and then we are going to build a bake shop is how we want to start, right? Yep. All right, um, how close can we get it to the market? Where, where's Town Market? <laughs> right here. I love your emojis, by the way. Oh, yeah, I know, right? It's a good one. Um, I'm only, I only have the privilege of having one fucking emoji so far, because I only became an affiliate this week. Um... I might be like, I might end up being like the first Twitch streamer ever to uh, get affiliate and partnership in the same month without being famous going into it. <laughs> uh, let me turn down speech good, good, good. a bit because that was pretty loud there. There we go. All right. We're immediately building our bake shop right outside the arsenal because uh, it's pretty close to town market. <laughs> Oh, I saw you type to defeat the Huns in the chat. Yeah, because someone before said, let's get down to business. Ah. <laughs> All right. Do we want to get a wife on the first day? Oh, did I forget to switch it so the... Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. I forgot to switch it so it's not four years every single day, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's, uh... I want <laughs> best candidates. What? What are you? Um... Unemployed, rogue. Uh, you know what? Her. Why not? She exists. Let's date her. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what it was between me and Dylan. Like, that was... Yeah. That was, that was how we started <sighs> dating. <laughs> you exist. Whatever, I'm not picky. That's all it is. Alright, let's go run across town and we'll compliment her. Then we'll tell her to follow us and we won't let her walk away until she's married us. That's the quickest way to get married in this game. <laughs> there are exploits you can do in the game to get married extra easily. It's just compliment her once, ask to go out, then say follow me. And then every two hours, she'll just stand in front of you and every two hours you compliment her and then say follow me again when she tries to walk away and she'll just stay with you until you get married on day one. Perfect. It's pretty beautiful. It's, it's kind it's, of like relationships in The Sims. It's it's actual love. <laughs> um, all right, so we have our bake shop. Uh, I'm not super experienced with the bake shop. I'm more experienced with the tavern, but it'll go fine. Uh, as long as they're selling decent stuff. Now, really what I should have done is check the market first to see uh, what prices are for the goods I'm going to need. Uh, however, you guys really wanted Subway, so we're going to rock it.
Yes! And plus, we can just make a farm in a minute anyway to get the stuff. We'll make a farm in a windmill because we need, like, actual ground flour rather than just the wheat and the <laughs> barley. Okay, so we can just make some barley bread because we don't have a source of our own honey yet. So we just have our chef working on barley bread. Let's immediately hire another staff member. And they'll also do barley bread. And we won't automate that yet. My grain is not moldy. We're, we're pretty preoccupied with uh, getting a wife. <laughs> Let's get baked. I like that. Oh my god, Retra, I got your reference and I don't know why you thought of doing that reference. <laughs> it's well, well, it's a bake shop! Which oh my is God. Big Show's theme. Oh my God, I get it now. Now, that's the old one that you would have recognized from yeah, 2006, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Or was it 2007? I think you had 2007. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. We got to play that together. You know, I can. we can play that on Parsec together. We can, we can now, yay. Yeah, we can play. All you need is a controller and yours works perfectly fine. We, we did it with, uh, with uh, Mario, uh, Mario Party. Party, yeah. So we can play that together. Yes. It's still so good. I was just playing it, uh, like, a couple months ago. It's aged surprisingly well. It's my favorite. I love that one. Who is that woman on the stream? That is Mandy. Yes. <laughs> it's been a while. I used to be part of the show a lot. Yeah. Could be a womanly man. You don't know. Don't assume. <laughs> Did you just assume my gender? Assuming makes an ass out of you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that turn on the old adage. All right, so now we're gonna take this woman that we just complimented and lure her back to our bake shop. We're then gonna stand in the streets for God knows how long, just complimenting her until she marries us. <laughs> Tori, you don't need to apologize. It's just a dumb joke. <laughs> we were just kidding. Yeah, don't. We're not actually the kind of people who would get offended over that. Don't worry. No. No, I've I, had you... plenty of people walk up behind me and think I'm a woman. It happens. I don't care. <laughs> <sighs> That's right, Madcast. I put the man in Mandy. Yeah! <laughs> wow, I never thought about that. Man is part of your name. It's it literally is. in your name. My initials uh, spell out men, too. Well, there you go. Holy shit, that's a weird-ass coincidence. Huh. Yeah, my my name is Mandy Elisa Nitinia. That's uh That's how that saying goes. Life comes on you fast. Look guys, we're like 25 minutes into the show already. I think it's about time we get into the shit jokes. <laughs> Jetstream says so you're not a woman MDB. I'm out subbing. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really need to take that girl streamers tag off my stream, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your name is Mandy and Ma mine is Mad Rot. We both have Mad some Rot. metal as fuck names. <laughs> we really do. We should start. A, we should start a band. Well, my name is Super Welsh, so I should probably be in some kind of death metal band. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Dajan <sighs> says, in my novelization, John Luke started the game Mary. <laughs> Who'd he marry in the game? I don't know. A His duck? Cousin, probably. Guan Yu? Mandy, if you haven't watched the Duck Dynasty <laughs> playthrough, you need to. It's only like two and a half, three hours total. It's like seven episodes. Um, it's just this hilarious shovelware game. I can't wait. I'll, uh, I'll go watch it. The, the whole thing is up. Also, you need to watch me and Brandon play Rogue Warrior. It's the shortest playthrough I've ever done. The game is Dick Marcinko's Rogue Warrior, a hilarious shovelware game that was sold for like $60 on launch. Uh -huh. It's an hour and a half. We beat it in one sitting before a pay-per-view once. Nice. Oh it's my God. so awful. Like, you should have seen the finagling I had to do to get the game to fucking work. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I, I totally forgot. I need to beguile uh, this woman. Beguile. I like when the glitch happens where it thinks I'm far away and so it doesn't play the sound effects for them talking. It just mumbles a bunch and then it ends with, that was an interesting conversation. God, like the literal words. 
The character looks like such a fucking dork. I know. They're like weird lines in his face where like different joints are supposed to be. So she started to run away from me and I said, follow me. And now she's running back. And this is what we're going to do until she marries us. I think this is called Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Uh... All right. Buy all their barley flour at a fucking egregious price. And then... Uh, and then we'll just deliver it back at our place to make more barley bread and sell our shit bread. <laughs> Alright, have we not gotten our title yet? Jesus, how long does it take these fuckers to give me the title? Um, <laughs> I say that, like, the way I worded it, it makes it sound like, God, when are they gonna put the belt on me, bro? <laughs> 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 Why does Rain still have the belt? God! Oh, by the way, Reigns is going to main event uh, his fourth WrestleMania in a row. <laughs> I'm not joking! Oh my God. He didn't even win the Royal Rumble. He just won the Elimination Chamber. They threw in a never-been-a-stipulation-before stipulation of whoever wins the Elimination Chamber gets a title shot at WrestleMania. Reigns wins. Perfect. The main event was gonna be, you know, the main event's <laughs> always the, the winner, or usually the winner of the Royal Rumble gets world title shot in the main event of WrestleMania. Nakamura wins, it's gonna be Nakamura versus AJ Styles, fucking dream match, they had an amazing match in Japan a few years back. Uh -huh. And then Roman Random wins a match, he's the main event. Of course fucking. he does. King. I like Roman, <laughs> I like Roman Reigns, he's a good wrestler. I don't like how he's booked, I just, it's like they're trying to make me hate him or something, and he's the good guy. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry guys, wrestle talk. You came to one of my streams. It's your fault. It's your fucking fault. Why are you that here? Was... <laughs> 86 people? What the Go hell's away. wrong? Go away! Stop watching us! Sorry, I'm trying to do offended faces. Like I'm trying to shake off the haters. It's not working. <laughs> I like how you're on a delay too, so like while I'm talking and explaining myself, you're just watching it. Like it's some kind of like post. <laughs> It's like some kind of post commentary, like you're watching like a director's track. I know. I know. <laughs> like, so this is the moment, like my, ins so my inspiration here was the director was telling me, uh, shake off the haters, bro. <laughs> it's like you're narrating yourself as yeah. you're watching what you're doing. It's amazing. So streams always get weird when Mandy's here. Shall I help? <laughs> All right, uh, kiss the stranger. We just met. It's been like an hour. Just kiss and boom, we did it. No, well, we didn't even touch, but okay. <laughs> and she says thank you and so people sprint past the camera and she's gonna walk away soon so we gotta tell her to follow us in so I'm just gonna hover over the second she starts to look away from me I'm yelling at her <laughs> this is how you marriage guys pro tips to all those single bros in the chat works if you're a woman too but gay people <laughs> don't exist in this game so don't even try it yeah sorry gay people you have to have a real relationship this shit doesn't work <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just another way that the Guild 2 developers are keeping the gay people down. <laughs> They're praying the gay away. Mm-hmm. Well, you can only pick between Protestant and Catholic. I mean, neither of those are very gay. Mm-hmm. Well, mm, we could do an altar boy joke. Oh! We don't even need to make the altar boy joke. Everybody fucking knows. <laughs> Pokeball of Sam asks if this is how you got with Fatima. Yeah. Just by, just by yelling um, at her. <laughs> she walked up to me on the bus stop. Uh, and then I was like, you have pretty hair. And she's like, thanks. And I'm like, date me? And she's like, yeah. And then I just like kissed her. And then she tried to walk away. And then I said, follow me. And then two hours later, I hugged her. And she tried to walk away. And I said, follow me. I did this like four or five times. And then she accepted my hand in marriage. And then... Uh, <laughs> Then she converted it into a playable class, and then I sent her home uh, forever because I just wanted her so that I could have a kid at some point so the family lineage would go on. <laughs> because I didn't have the money to start a business. <laughs> IRL. Sorry, I thought I had to throw that in there just in case you guys didn't know uh, that I'm definitely not joking. But then she wouldn't stop boiling no, eggs and bringing them to you at Wait. any convenient time. Mm, no, the terms of service just changed on uh, on Twitch. You, now you need to say that everything's a joke or else you're allowed to get banned from it. That was a joke. Uh, look, guys. <laughs> if you ever hear anything on my show, 
and it makes you think any bad thoughts, it was a joke. It was a joke. Unless it's really funny. <laughs> then it's, then it's then not, it's a, not joke. a Yeah, then it's <laughs> then it's just then it's hard truth and you're a sick fuck for laughing. <laughs> so I totally forgot to open up with getting the 25% efficiency points in my business, which is what you do with the opening of every business. Uh, mostly because I am an idiot. Um, and, you know, I'm not even paying attention to the video game I'm playing for the most part. Good. Why would you ever want to do that? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna catch up on some of these chat notifications in a second here. Um, oh shit, did she run away? Hold on, slow down the game. Where is she? She's in mass? Get back here. Dick <laughs> church. There. <laughs> I like how I can yell at her from anywhere in the city once we start dating. Um, right, so we have... Holy shit. Oh my god, you guys are like subscribing on mass. Okay, let me, let me catch up here. Uh, thank you for following Scooby Up 10 The Orin? Uh, the Orin. And... Save Rio the? I must be reading that one wrong. Welcome to the flock. And thank you for subscribing, Super Gecko 90 the meme reviewer, and Taco Man. Because, of course, Taco, Taco Man, Man would subscribe. Taco Man's old school like that. You know, I have on my, uh, on my sheet that I look at every time I'm doing a vlog and I'm shading at the $10 and up patrons. Uh -huh. I, I have a list of all the names. In parentheses next to Taco Man is permanent. Because he will never not be on that list, because I'm fairly sure he has sent me fucking, like, a thousand dollars over the years. I don't know Probably. what is- I don't know what is wrong with Taco Man, but something is wrong with Taco Man. Because he likes the show- Okay, well, I was gonna say likes the show more than you should, but you shouldn't like the show, so, like, it's kind of a given. <laughs> Thelgrim says that was the shittiest hug ever. What? Oh shit, Hernandez uh, punch dick just called me out as a hypocrite. Subscribing on mass? I thought you said fuck mass. <laughs> you got me, guy. Okay, I gotta do an apology video on YouTube. <laughs> I've been exposed. Oh, no, I gotta do a boxing match with KSI. Shit. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> uh, thank you for the 100 bits, the fig man. He says power to the pagans. Sorry, no pagans in this game. We're all devote Catholics and Protestants. And, uh, and Sandink donated one bit, so I don't know why it showed up, because that's literally one penny. But whatever. Uh, in my original novelization, you use the goblin <laughs> voice to seduce her. In it, my novelization. <laughs> it would work on me, and it works on everybody. Period. <laughs> it would work on me too. Uh, Manny, I know you haven't been on the Discord server in a bit, but on the Discord server, sometimes imaginary <laughs> shadows will jump in general chat, and everyone jumps in general chat, and will just mute and listen to her do dramatic readings of shitty fan fiction. It's amazing. Like, That's she would start perfect. doing dramatic readings of that guy's air quote novelization of oh Fable, God. his weird Fable fanfic. Oh my god, please. You can- you need to jump in sometime and just listen to it. It's so bad. Oh my god. Oh, it's, I love the Discord server so much. Everybody who has never tried the Discord server, just give it a try and see if it's for you, because the Discord server is fun. Uh, <laughs> when you make an apology video, don't start- Don't forget to start with a deep sigh. Yeah, I need to start with a deep sigh, and I also need to play sympathetic music. And oh, I kissed her, and then she shook her fist at me. I think I- <laughs> uh, Oh, no. Oh, did I make her a mad? Uh, apparently I bit her lip. I know how painful that is. I'm still recovering from my bit lip from like two weeks ago. <laughs> uh, you have to you have to do the sappy music and start with a deep sigh and make the title very clickbaity mm -hmm. and make sure make sure not to tase rats next time he'd make another video. <laughs> I can't believe he did that! <laughs> I still like <laughs> When I first heard, like, he, oh, Bellman's face number, wait, what, it doesn't fucking matter. Um, when I first heard that whole, like, he tased a rat after, I, I think my reaction was, no, you're fucking lying. There's no way. <laughs> like, that can't be right. No, no, he did. He, he straight up followed up. Uh, he, he followed up filming a dead body. We're tasing a rat! 
<laughs> just, just, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. Like, at first I thought he was just a fucking moron, but now it's like, that had to have been intentional, right? Like, nobody goes in not knowing that's not okay. I know. Like, no what? one, nobody is that stupid. Who is going to approve of a video like that? that Seriously. It is? It's just, I just don't understand. Like, it had to have been intentional. There's no way. There's no way it wasn't. No way. <laughs> like, obviously, I don't mean, like, obviously he intentionally tased the rat. I mean, there's no way that he didn't do it. And yeah. then have nobody bring up to him or him even think, like, hey... Don't you think the optics on this are bad? Like, there's no fucking way in the world. <laughs> I think he was just banking on YouTube not doing shit about it because it's what YouTube does best. <laughs> it's not do shit. It's, it's so true. Have you... Okay, anyone on here who's a YouTuber, have you checked out the beta for the new video creator studio manager thing? It's no. so bad. Now, for once, they give you an option to revert back at any time because the first thing you see when you go to the new version is there's a, a drop-down menu with a list of all the features they haven't implemented yet. And it's longer than the list of features they have implemented. Why the hell give it to us then? You can't manage your playlists in the <laughs> new Creator Studio. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the f- Fuck! That is one of the most integral parts, is managing your playlist so people can binge watch you. <laughs> Fucking mind-blowing that they rolled this out as available. I know. Thanks for following, Beamer. I really appreciate it. It makes me feel good inside. Welcome to the flock. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be really weird if what? you're... Well, I, I guess you'd pretty much be my brother-in-law. Because Beamer, I'm pretty sure, is the username of my sister's boyfriend. Uh-huh. It'd be really weird coincidence if that was you, because I don't think either of you watch me, because my show's terrible. <laughs> Even though my sister has been on this show before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that we streamed really DK64. That was fun. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, you were there. We brought you in at some point, because we were so shit at following the chat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, thanks for the 100 bits, uh, Husky. Uh, he says, uh, all right, I, yeah, yeah, Husky, right, sorry, I was trying to remember if I usually call you Husky or Wolf, because there's another person that either was Husky or Wolf, and I don't want to get confused. No, it's Wolf20KO and Husky Wolf. They play, uh, Friday 13th with me a lot, so okay. it's hard to get the name straight sometimes, uh, but we call Husky Husky, because no one else is called Husky, and so it's easier to quickly refer to him when running away from Jason. <laughs> Uh, here's some bits. You should add a bit cup. Yeah, I still don't know how you do that. I think it's like an on-screen widget thing, but it looks ugly, doesn't it? You're exposed for supporting uh, a Nazi by the name of Mandy and allowing her to use your show to spread hate. You say that, but that's totally what people on Twitter are gonna say. All you need to say is you're German, and they'll probably, like, <laughs> some of these people are so fucking crazy nowadays. Yeah, so just say, say you're German, and I, I genuinely believe wholeheartedly some of them will immediately just assume, like, you're white, and you're German. Yeah. Uh, this is an alt-right show now. Yep. I'll play something with you one day. Morgan, oh, uh, oh, right, yeah, you just changed your name, right? I followed you earlier today. Um, I'm gonna have to get used to your new username. I saw that you started streaming and you you do like makeup stuff because I follow on YouTube and uh, I see your Instagram. So I know that you do like um, special effects stuff like uh, physical makeup effects. In fact, Mandy, um, mm -hmm. I remember you sent me a picture of like some like gore or zombie makeup thing you did for a friend once, right? Yes. Morgan in the chat there, who's uh, Fantasy Gore FX, she does stuff just like that. Like, I saw her oh, do some, cool. she did, like, some zombie makeup stuff that she put on her Instagram recently, and it looked so similar <laughs> to what you did. I thought it was really cool. You might like her stream. That's cool. Um, I do it just kind of as a hobby, but I really like to watch the people who do it professionally, because it's, like, so cool. You sound really hollow all of a sudden. I do? Yeah, it's weird. Hold on, let me change your volume on Discord a little. Yeah, because uh, nothing's changed. That's weird. Is it like the internet went weird or something? It almost sounds like it defaulted to a different mic. 
let me tweak my settings real quick. Yeah, yeah, it suddenly sounds like you're on like a webcam mic or something really bad. Oh, that's stupid. Uh, Scooby says, uh, I forgot to tell you, Smashcast or Hitbox, my name was Speed King. Okay, sorry, a lot of people have new names and stuff. Mindy's loud and echoey now? Yeah, it's weird, right? I'm just changing her volume on my end so that that's not a problem while she fixes it. Uh, she's dropping out and dropping in, probably to restart it or something. Is this any better? It sounds the same. Hmm. You think, is it your internet? Like, does the stream look fine on your end? Yeah, everything's fine. Nothing's changed. All right, maybe it's not your internet then. Um... Uh, cause like I checked my settings and it's it's set to my professional mic. Weird. <laughs> All right, let's take this second employee, and we are going to make a little beehive thing to get honey, so we can start making uh, better kinds of bread at our bake shop. Alright, we forgot to rename our bake shop. What's the default name for this one? A Wholesome Heel. That's pretty good. Uh, but this is... Subway. The demand at accounting house has expired. Okay, I've completely restarted Oh, everything. shit. Yeah, you sound perfectly fine now. Okay, good. Alright, that was weird. I don't yeah. know what the hell happened. It, it's clearly on the correct mic now. Yeah, I don't know. I just restarted everything, so... All right, uh, the default name for our farm is Lusty Peasants, which makes no fucking sense. Uh, I'm gonna change it to Subway de uh, Depression Processing Plant. <laughs> oh, PL. I love it. Okay, okay, whatever, close enough. We got Subway and the Subway Depression Processing Plant. Perfect. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a callback. David yeah. McSavage says, gotta visit your local GameStop to pray for Mandy. <laughs> yeah, we were praying at GameStop. Power to the prayer. <laughs> oh, God, that was such a good name for our church. It was so good. All right, war is going to occur. I could go do military service right now, and that could get me Imperial fame, but I don't care. So we're just gonna not do that. God bless. Crush should be the lusty Argonian maid. I do know of that book. <laughs> uh, never read it though, even though it's like on every fucking shelf in Skyrim. Oh, or was wow. it Oblivion that it was all over? I don't remember. It wouldn't surprise me if it was both. Probably. Uh, can I marry her now? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. We're married. I'm not paying any money. We're married now. Fuck the chapel. And go home. I'll see you when we're ready for a kid. Yeah, that sounds like me and Dylan. <laughs> Go home! <laughs> I'll like, see you when I want a kid. It's like, fuck bitch. the wedding, fuck the chapel, we're just gonna go home and watch anime. Yeah, that's kinda how I am. <laughs> are those fuck the anime, I'm gonna go watch chapel. <laughs> that was almost a joke. That was almost funny. That wasn't almost funny. <laughs> no. I couldn't I couldn't keep up the uh, charade on that one. I'm really <laughs> sorry. I lied to you all. I'm glad you're not living a lie anymore. Mm, yeah. It took a while to come out <clears throat> as not funny. Uh, but, super, uh, you know. Super Communist wants to know if you could replace your life with anybody, who would you steal from? Uh... You mean like Shang Sun steal somebody's life force? No, like I I guess it's like trading your life for somebody else's. Oh, uh me. I'm cool me. with me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I, I, don't I don't really want to live anyone else's life. Nice. I'm cool with mine. Oh no, John Luke is levitating again. Well he's not really levitating, he's just a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> he really does remind you of a Roomba. Well, that was, uh, that was impressive. Showing off he's, his sweet dance moves. He's like, uh, it's like they polished the floor and he's skating with his socks on. Uh, Iron Shrek says, or, sorry, Iron Shrek, uh, says, do we need 90 viewers or 80? Neither. We need to keep our average, uh, we need the average at the end of 30 days to be 75. 
So if we keep it well above that, in fact, the higher above it we get, the better. Mm -hmm. Because then we need to make up for less low turnout streams. Yes. Which is great. <laughs> what the fuck kind of question is that? He followed it up with, if you could steal anyone's organ, who would it be? And what organ would you steal? Mm, I got a pretty... I, I got a lot of organs that are in bad shape. So... Uh, well, organs specifically, that's that's actually a shame because that doesn't count joints because I have uh, Ehlers Danlos so my joints are really bad. I, I'd steal somebody's spine if I could because that's that's mostly the issue with uh, with Ehlers Danlos. That's not an organ, that's a bone. Mm, I'm just gonna steal whatever the most expensive organ is like like the instrument and sell it. <laughs> I can imagine you, like, stealing a whole pipe organ, like, from a cathedral. Yeah. <laughs> like the fucking Notre Dame's organ. And I'm, like, crouched down really low, and when I step, I'm, like, bringing my knees up, like, all the way past <laughs> my elbows. I'm, like, hunched over. And the Pink Panther theme is playing. I've thought about this too much. Okay, takes the question serious. I take everything seriously. This is a serious show, everybody. You think this is a fucking joke? Yeah, you think this is a fucking joke, guys? God. God. I'm offended. Again, femurs are not organs. You femurs guys are aren't so organs, guys. <laughs> you guys are so bad at anatomy. No, bad at anatomy. Is that a femur <laughs> in your pocket? Or do you just have a horrible growth on your dick? Oh, Jesus. Mm. Good jokes here, everybody. It's not a joke. This is no laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting everybody today. <laughs> yeah, today's all about the fights. I'm, I'm a YouTube drama streamer. <laughs> Please. This is internet blood sports, everybody. <laughs> this is all blood sport. This is, this is blood sports. Someone bring on... Um, What's his dick? I don't remember his name. Onision? Ugh. <laughs> no! I no! That. I, that's that's a step too far for me. I love dude, that I can do Dude, make murdered you a turtle! <laughs> murdered a can... turtle and tried and like groomed like three different women that were underage when he was like 30. It's really fucked up. I love that I can make you gag just by saying his name. <sighs> Richard says Andy Worski. No, Andy Worski's cool. I like Andy. I actually Worski. really like Andy Worski. He's a, he is a very nice guy. I'm actually yeah, cool. I'm cool with uh, with internet blood sports for people who are into that. That's the thing is people misunderstand it and they think like, it's this is the shittiest debate I've ever seen. It's not a debate. It's internet blood sports. It's it's uh it's Maury. It's it's yeah. It's just drama. Yeah, it's drama like that. I don't. I'm not like I don't personally really watch it. It's not really my thing. I'm cool with it. Do what you want to do. Have fun. They'll go in knowing what it is. Have fun with it, you know? Yeah. Uh, where is Godfrey? Uh, we know where Brandon is, but you refuse to tell us what happened to Godfrey. All I'm gonna say, <laughs> have you ever seen Brandon and Godfrey in the same room at the same time? Because I'm not sure I have. <laughs> Godfrey is AFK. I like that. <laughs> He's gonna be AFK for a suspiciously long time. <laughs> No, no, like internet blood sports is so entertaining. It's 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 like the modern day gladiators. Why are you stockpiling all this bread? I can mass sell it for a lot of money without devaluing the market too hard, but I'm also putting it in my sales stock so people can walk by and buy it. Unfortunately the attractiveness of the store is actually quite low. So I think I'm gonna manual sell a little bit just to get me that little boost I need. Also, you need to make a lot of bread in the morning in order to run a subway, like seriously. Mm -hmm. Surely you know so about boo boo so, boo boo Yeah. Who's better, Chris Chan or Onision? Jesus Christ, what kind of question is that? At least one of them is honest. <laughs> True. No, they both proclaim. Actually, no. No, actually, you know what? I'm giving too much credit to uh, to Chris Chan. <laughs> They both proclaim to be the true and honest YouTuber, but they're both such big liars. Uh, it's so like they are the biggest liars on YouTube. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> neither of them are Twitch streamers, right? I'm fairly sure neither of them stream on Twitch. 
At least Chris Chan is like relatively harmless. It's Ezra's. Oh yeah, Chris Chan's harmless. Uh, whereas like Onision, you ever been on Onision's forum yes. where he literally rates uh, nearly yeah. naked pictures of underage girls? Yeah, I know. It's fucked up. Sassarus! Hi! I know, right? Everybody's happy to, to see Mandy, and Mandy's happy to see everybody. Except for fucking... Who was it that we made fun of for no reason earlier? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, fuck, sorry. But, but fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, fuck whoever that was that was nice to us. <laughs> Why would he be <laughs> nice to us? What the hell's your problem? I know, right? Fucking noob. Already on my way. Such a scrub lord. You're the lord of scrubs. <laughs> which is actually a pretty impressive title now that I think about it. You know what? <laughs> put, put that on your Twitter bio. That's that's an accomplishment. Lord of scrubs? <laughs> that was a TV show that was pretty popular. I didn't watch I like it, that. but you know, people watched it. I actually really appreciate that show now that I work in medicine. Cause, that's like, the it's... hospital one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard good things about it. I just haven't seen it. Like, I, I don't work for a human hospital, but it's still the same. Like, yeah, it's still, I mean, humans are in the hospital. That counts. Yeah, it still transfers over. The doctor-nurse uh, relationships are completely the same. Did you hear uh, that clip of that lady who... There's, like, um, there's, there's some Twitch show where they just interview a bunch of, like, random women off uh, some other streaming site, I think it is. And one of them are like, uh, what's the worst thing you've ever done? And she is like, I killed someone's dog. And they're they're like, whoa, whoa, okay, hold on, like, what happened? Details? Like, was it an yeah. accident? And she's like, and like every time she gave another detail, it got worse. They're like, was it <laughs> was intentional? And she's like, well, I, I was a veterinarian assistant. And they're like, okay, so like euthanasia. And she is like, the owner was like a real asshole. Ah! And then the the guy, the host, was like, oh my god, okay, we shouldn't talk about this. She fucking intentionally killed someone's dog because the owner was an asshole. That's so fucked up. That's horrible. Could you, the dog didn't do anything. I you know. You murdered it. That's what so, that's so fucked up. That is what so fucked fuck? up. That is so fucked up. I can't even imagine, like, I've dealt with some asshole owners before, but I never, like, blamed their pets for it. In yeah. fact, I felt, I felt sorry for their pets for yeah. having such assholes as owners. I know, right? That's so fucked up. Wow. Like, that makes me angry. Like, I was fuming when I heard that, because it's like, oh my god, that's so wrong on so many levels. Yeah, me too. Like, oh my god. Yep. I can't even imagine doing anything like that. That's yeah. horrible. How could you kill somebody's dog? No. Like, that alone is really fucked up. Like, the like, unless it's self-defense, that's so fucked up. Like, I feel bad when I perform a euthanasia on, like, an 18-year-old dog with all the problems in the world. It's yeah. Like, I can't imagine doing that to somebody's pet who's, like, okay. Yeah. Jesus. My novelization, the girl freed the dog from its abusive owner. Yeah, I hope so. That, I hope that novelization comes true. Haven't we all learned that novelizations are true? Isn't God, that what I... that guy tried to teach me in the YouTube comments on my video on Fable of the Lost <laughs> Chapters? Is that it's canon? in the game's history because he made a fucking fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I still can't get over that. That is the funniest shit really in the funny. world. Good God. My novelization. He tried to cite that as a reason why he was right in an what? argument about shit in the video game. Always canon MDB. Is that, is that my new moniker? Always canon MDB? I'm canonically <laughs> existent. See, the shit thing about the bake shop is it makes very little money early in the game. Whereas the tavern tends to make more. Yeah, but it's Subway. That is correct. That's not That's a good thing. You say it like it's a good thing. That's all that matters. It's Subway. You have, come, but now go, for I must you have an interesting there. definition of what matters. <laughs> and it's not Subway, it's Suobway. Suobway. Don't want to get Suobwood. <laughs> Sued. It was sued in a stupid voice. Just so we're all on the same page here, guys. I say guys like it's only guys that watch my show because it's a gaming show and that's how things tend to be. But I actually have a shocking amount of women who watch my show. And I don't know why. Like, I don't know why my show of all would attract more women. Because it's definitely not because I'm a looker. Because, my god, have you looked in the top right of the screen? <laughs> 
It's the beard. <laughs> Could be. Also, it's the left. You don't know your right from your left? No, I'm in the top right of your screen. Dude, it's weird. Oh, I don't know my right from my left. <laughs> what the hell, Mandy? <laughs> <laughs> Guys is pretty much gender neutral. That is true. I use guys to refer to groups of women as well. I think it's I think that's gender neutral depending on the um the region. Like where I grew up that was normal. You know, guys like yeah, you could refer to to men with it, but if you're just saying like, oh hey guys, like that's anyone. That yeah, could be anyone. I, like dude and guys have always been gender neutral to me. Yeah, same here. All right, let me, uh, let me automate some of this. Ha, that, that's, that's deep. That's a deep cut. Uh, they say, was that more embarrassing than your VO work? In some mm. case, in some mm. cases, in some cases, some. <laughs> there was that one time. <laughs> and no one will ever find it. <laughs> I'm, of course, talking not about uh, the burrito inside of me, because you can find that on every platform that yeah, exists. Can... <laughs> <laughs> it's been posted so many times everywhere. I think he created new websites just to post it there. Is oh my god. Oh, uh, someone's demanding $5,000 in protection money. I'm going to call for the guards instead, because I have $500. <laughs> That I'm in the middle of town, there's no way a guard's not going to see me. I'm next to the arsenal. <laughs> I like that, Sassarus. Uh, you know what's truly gender neutral? Fuckers. Anyone can be a fucker. We're Anyone fuckers. can be a fucker. That's like true. That. Never that. thought about it that way. Thanks for bringing us all together, You're Sassarus. <laughs> they only did $131 worth of damage to my store. And they were trying to extort me for $5,000. I feel like I came out on a pretty good deal on that one. <laughs> huh. Well, it turned out perfectly fine. It turns out it was a very good idea to not go uh, $4,000 into debt paying them. I like that. 5,000 gold. Who are you trying? Who's trying to force you to pay the Joker? I know, right? <laughs> it's this bullshit. <laughs> Going up to like a poor farmer's bake shop and he's like, I want eight billion dollars. <laughs> he wanted 72 cookies. He wanted 72 cookies. That was a problem I didn't have. Actually, I got, well, I don't have 72 cookies. I have uh, 12 biscuits. <laughs> I have more than 72 barley bread. Does that count? Is that good no. enough? No, no chocolate chips in it. Sorry. The, the biscuits are made of honey. And wheat flour, obviously. It's not just honey biscuits. Like... Just dried honey in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no eggs or, or milk or butter no. or anything and it's just like <laughs> it's just like powder. <laughs> All I'm doing is wheat flour and honey. These probably aren't very good. <laughs> it's, it's just like a pound pile of the wheat flour powder with like a drop of honey in it. Man, are we talking about food? I'm gonna get hungry. That's how it happens. Oh man, I just ordered pizza. Mmm, hate you. Mm -hmm. I got Building my... is sabotaged, now oh, whatever. I, I got my pizza and my garlic bread. Yeah, uh, they're stealing some shit from my farm, whatever. I barely lose any money off that. Screw it, I have extra bits left over, Someone says Husky Wolf as he sends five bits. No, I'm not paying 5,000 gold again. Call for the guards. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Cockdong says streaming a game making fucking dry bread doesn't get much better than this. We're a good show, folks. 
This is good. This quality. Got a guy in the chat we call Cock Dong. Cock Dong's my favorite. That was a hell of a glitch I just had there. Everything just looked fucked up for a second. Wherever it takes me. Huh. <laughs> MDB shows the best show, fucking liar. Yeah. <laughs> Miss me with that shit. Call, call you out. <laughs> There's a documentary called Chris Chan, a comprehensive I've... documentary. Yeah, I've watched all four parts. It's actually really good. Mm. Send it my way. I'll watch it. I will. No, you will. Yes, I will. You're a fucking liar. You underestimate my power! True. <laughs> Is it really underestimating if I'm the one who's right? In my business, we work conscientiously. No. This plague of rats has me at my wit's end. Oh fuck you! What? I... Someone says Mandy loves the cock dog just like in the porn VO. <laughs> I've gotta hear that one day. <laughs> Do you <laughs> still have a copy of it? No, like I told them not to tell me <sighs> what it was. Like I didn't want any part in it. I didn't want my name in the credits. I didn't want them to show me the finished product. Mm. I was like, just give me my paycheck and tell me what to do. Do you remember what you said? Uh, I didn't say a whole lot. I just made uh, a lot of noises. Okay. <laughs> like combat noises, right? It was a really embarrassing fight scene is what you would um, Oh, totally. Yeah. Combat <laughs> grunts. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> You know, uh, don't you fucking dare dot mp3 is what you sent to them. <laughs> yes. All right, we're making a public house next to it. It's like a cheap tavern and inn. So let's make a little more money. So is John Luke married yet? Yeah, we got married pretty early. Good. Uh, the wife has just been sitting around in the house if you for have years. A son, if you have a son, you should name him Luke. <laughs> so it just continues Luke. the family. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Luke, Luke, John, Luke, <laughs> John, John. Oh, we can't change the last name. Oh. <laughs> I was making the sounds mommy and daddy make when fighting. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look, this is why you came to the stream, everybody. We know it. It's okay. You don't need to be embarrassed. <laughs> Mandy only needs to be embarrassed. Trust me, I am. <sighs> Life is good. <laughs> Life is strange. Uh, it was a video game series. I know. Yeah, I, I did editing for a lot of uh, Let's Plays of that on Geek Remix. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I just did editing for the, the, the thing that just came out on it the other day. <laughs> it was a lot of fun because I actually quite like that series. Yeah, me it's, too. It's goofy and there's dumb shit, but I actually pretty much I, I mostly like it. I think it's pretty good. I like it. I, like I think a part. lot of the things it gets shit on for, it doesn't really deserve. No. I think people are too hard on it. They're like, ah, teenagers oh, don't talk like this. I don't know. You ever been to Oregon? People talk yeah. like that. Yeah, they really do. Teenagers are really cringeworthy, okay? Yeah. Not all teenagers, I know a lot of you are teenagers and a lot of you are cool, but you know what I mean, you guys know the cringy ones, come yeah. on. I mean, like, they're not popular teenagers, these are like, the hipster rejects. Yeah, they, yeah. Like, of course they're gonna talk like that. Absolutely, and like, I'm not even shitting on them for that, cause like, that's just part of being a teenager, is like, trial and error trying to figure out what's cool. Uh, yeah, like I, was I wasn't. I wasn't a cool teenager. No, me neither. I'm not even a cool adult. Me neither. There you go. That's, that's why I work for science and medicine. I thought you gonna say that's why I work for Subway. <laughs> no, I don't work for Subway anymore. Yeah, fun. we all know about why you don't work for Subway anymore. <laughs> you fucking cookie fiend. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. Yeah. I'm not gonna provide any context. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Cookie Monster thinks you're a son of a bitch. You're not even a son. You're not a son of anything. But you're a son of a bitch. Which I guess is part of anything, so really I'm the idiot. Oh my god. Apparently Mandy wasn't ready for that. I was 
was not. That's so funny. Funny on my show. That's the real joke. That is a fucking joke. Yeah, I'm a fucking joke. Everybody, <laughs> unsubscribe if you think I'm a joke. Let me just tab out and take a look at that subscribe list right now. It's, uh, ooh, 17 people. I guess you're all just wrong then. Mm, funny how these things happen. God, my show is so bad. <laughs> it is. Like, our our live count is dropping substantially. Oh, yeah, Jesus. It's, a, it's, it's two people away from being under the amount I need for a partnership. Come on, guys. It's 76. We can get it to 74. Everybody get it to 74. We can do it. We've come together as a community. If we all come together as a community, we can get that view count under 74. <laughs> believe in the heart of come the cards. Come on. You got to believe in the heart of the cards. Come on. Come on. We can do it. 74! Yeah! Yes! We did it, guys. <laughs> now, if we just... Now, if we keep it exactly at 74, we will be one person off getting a partnership in March. We did it. We lost two viewers. We did it, Reddit. I don't even like Reddit. A bunch of fucking entitled bastards who think they know more than they do. Except for the Crusader Kings subreddit. That is the funniest place on the internet. They're awesome. <laughs> We did it, everybody. 74, 73, holy shit. Can we get the count to zero? We are Mandy, you're going to have to leave for it, and I'm going to have to leave too, but can we get that <laughs> count to zero? Everybody, everybody. Look, if you all tweet out the stream and say, don't watch this in unison, <laughs> we can get below zero. Let's get to 74. See, guys, you got to tweet harder. It got up to 74 again. If you don't, if you don't all tweet out my stream and post it on Facebook right now saying, don't watch this. Oh my God, it's no! back up to 76. You're failing me. No. You're failing me, chat. You can't, you can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. I've worked too fucking hard for the last eight years for you fuckers with this free shit. content to get 77 views. Shit, shit. Mm. This what is what's gonna do? happen. This is gonna be the first ever mass ban of everybody in the chat in Twitch history 78. We failed. <laughs> we failed. So like that's it. That's the end. We can't go on from here. We're 80. It's a fucking disgrace. I don't blame a drive for leaving. It's just me now, now. I'm all alone. It's snowing. There are wolves. Oh good, we at least lost one of them. I seriously don't know where Madrai went. This is really awkward. You do this to me, chat. They did. You do this to me. He's driving in the drink. And the number went up again! <laughs> I know. Like... <laughs> Wait, are you allowed to drink on Twitch? I actually don't know. You're allowed to on Smashcast and Hitbox. Are you allowed to drink a- This is water, guys. This is water. <laughs> to be fair, I drink out of a- I drink water out of a whisk- Or a, a rum bottle every day. You can tell this is clearly a Bacardi rum bottle, but it's full of water. Yep. You're allowed to drink on Twitch? Okay, thank you. Uh, this is Hernita's tequila. It's pretty good. Good. This is tequila flavored water, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Would I lie to you? Production has been Never. Interrupted. Mm, we're out of wheat flour and honey. Okay. Hey, farm, you shit in the bed over there? Got it. <laughs> Water-flavored tequila. That's... <laughs> fairly sure, sure water-flavored tequila is just uh, straight vodka. <laughs> um, all right, where is... I want to do the production on my own. Production selection is all me, Yo. and you guys need to be getting uh, honey. Honey and barley. Actually, you know what? Just pile on the honey right now. Actually, do we use barley in the other place right now? 
No, we're using wheat for that. Okay, we actually need to start growing some wheat. Hmm, the band has chosen our location, even though I put up no money for their payment. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, um, they make stupid decisions, but whatever, it'll dri drive a bunch of uh, people to uh, eat at my place. Apparently there's a house on fire. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Guess they can just deal with it. <laughs> Fuck them. Yeah. Literally. Literally. Where would you like to go? Oh fuck, it's doing that glitch again. <laughs> oh Christ, I gotta tab out and then go back in and hope it fixed it. It didn't fix it. Of course it didn't fix it. Okay, I gotta save the game. Stream. Uh, no, this is... This is stream subway. Save the game and then I gotta exit to the main menu. <laughs> and I gotta load game. Subway. <laughs> you like how Guild 3 is out and yet Buggy Guild 2 is more playable. I know, right? Guild 3 is they released that way too early. It That's is terrible. awful. That's really bad. I know. I hate when shit like that happens. They released too early. I think they needed more funding was the problem. Oh. And so they release it in a state where it's just not even close to ready. I feel like that shouldn't even be, like, allowed. I know, know, right? Like, releasing a game in its alpha phase, it's stupid. Like, I get it's early access, you have your warning and everything, but good god was it a disappointment streaming that on day one. Yeah. Like, you, and then you'll have developers like The Forest who just release it in alpha stage, get all the money they wanted, and then fuck off. Isn't the forest finished? I don't... I don't think it is. Like, I don't think they ever finished the plot of the game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an ending and everything. Is there really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is now. Uh, sure. I haven't gotten to it yet, so I don't want spoilers on it, but I'm like 99% sure there's an ending. Wow, I'll have to go back and visit it. Cause, like, yeah, it it's a cool game. It, they didn't do anything with it for like a year. Yeah, it's a cool game. I'm um, pretty sure it still gets updated a lot now. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's cool. Because, like, I was throwing serious shade at a them for not doing anything house. with it for That's a really exploring. long time. Well, they're finally getting their shit together. They are. I guess better late than never. <laughs> Alright, did they get some of that honey yet? Yes, they did. <laughs> You're the Zodiac killer. <laughs> oh, that's Ted Cruz. Come on, guys. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> guys, we all know who who actually is the Zodiac killer. Come on. Get your shit together. It's Ted Cruz. Yes. We've proven without a shadow of a doubt now With pleasure. that he's the Zodiac killer. Because Twitter said it, right? <laughs> fuck me, I kill Onision, Chris Chan, and Zillion OP. Uh, oh, Zillion OP, I think I fucked him. Um, he came to my stream once over on Hitbox back in the day, and I just roasted the shit out of him. Oh god. Oh, yeah, god. how far was he fall? Has he fallen that he showed up to my stream to talk trash to me because I called him out? Oh, Man. Uh, but, oh, fuck me, Carol. Uh, oh, none of them. <laughs> I don't play I play by my own rules. Uh, Look, Rowdy Roddy Piper was the man. I, I, I run by his logic. Just when you thought you knew all the answers, I changed the question. <laughs> you weren't there for the roast of Zillion OP? Zillion OP, I feel like... I think there's a role in Twitch where you can't make fun of other Twitch streamers, which is stupid. Uh, but, uh... uh he hasn't fallen far enough to need an actual wheelchair yet. A, a fair point. <laughs> Fucker. If you don't know, Zillion OP is a guy who pretended to be crippled in a wheelchair to get donations. Oh. Made oh, out with like $100,000 before he stood up on screen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fucker. Um... Yeah, I'm fairly sure that you can still make fun of people who got banned for pretending to be paralyzed, though. I'm pretty sure they're yeah. cool with that here on Twitch. So, uh, I'm happy about that. 
because fuck that son of a bitch. Shows on my stream, all mad that I talk trash about it. I'm like, look, I am like less than a month away from losing my home. I can't find work because I'm disabled. Losing our home because my dad's not p paying fucking spousal support. And you come in here, motherfucker who got rich off pretending to be paralyzed. He didn't like that. <laughs> Uh, and I, I called him a scammer, and he's like, I didn't scam anybody. They donated the money because they liked me. And I'm like, you pretended to be paralyzed, you oh fuck. What a son of a bitch. It's funny because he made some shitty apology video once that he's now taken down. He so didn't mean it. If he's showing up to my stream and he's, like, making excuses for why he did it and how it's totally fine, he's not sorry. Jesus Christ. A person who's sorry doesn't make excuses for what they did. Yeah. What a fucker. Fuck that guy. Yeah, I don't think- fuck. I'm fairly sure I've got diplomatic immunity on saying fuck him, because nobody respects Zillion OP. Yeah, fuck that fucker. Yeah. Hey, we're at 74 again! <clears throat> yeah, we are underachieving. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good, man. Did he start the sorry video with a deep sigh? If so, he didn't mean it. He might have. I don't remember. <laughs> it was really half-assed. Like, I mean, like, n like, literally just turns on webcam, talks for like 30 seconds. He doesn't, he doesn't even say what he did. He said he's really sorry about what he did and he wants to move forward. And yet he kept calling his fans his wheelies. He still had like 15 devoted followers. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's hilarious. He used, he used to be on top of the world, like, 500 viewers every stream back in the days when that was, like, the top of the top. Ooh, that guy. He had an apology about leaving his wheelchair in the suicide forest. That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, Logan Paul doesn't stream on Twitch, right? I'm allowed to make fun of Logan Paul? <laughs> yeah, he does. I hate that I need to ask that. What a stupid <laughs> rule. It's a really dumb rule. God, like, look, people make fun of each other on television all the time. People make fun of each other on YouTube all the time. This is, like, the only platform where I'm fairly sure you're not allowed to make... Now, is it you're not allowed to make fun of other Twitch streamers? Or, sorry, Twitch partners? Is it partners can't make fun of partners? Because at least, like, some MCNs on YouTube do that, but I don't think it's cool there either. Yeah. Like, look. 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 I'm not going to make fun of Dr. Disrespect because I don't know if I'm allowed to make fun of Dr. Disrespect or not. All I'm going to say is I think you should be allowed to make fun of Dr. Disrespect. I don't mean go to his house. I don't mean go randomly tweet him every day calling him a fucker. I mean if I on my show want to hypothetically say I'm not cool with him cheating on his wife. Mm-hmm. I feel like I should be allowed to say that, but that's just a hypothetical educational thing of me saying that is my opinion with him as an example. Uh, I am not necessarily saying, oh, you know, fuck him. Because uh, I, I, he runs good show. Don't know about his quality of character as a human. But uh, I haven't met the man. Who knows? Uh, maybe they're swingers. I don't know. Okay, the direct right quote is you cannot defame, harass, abuse, threaten, or defraud users of Twitch services. I don't think any of that means okay. you can't make fun of them. Okay, well, what I said was an abuse. I, it definitely wasn't a threat. I'm not defrauding him. I'm not trying to, like, lie. I'm not defaming him. I'm saying my opinion about him. I'm definitely not harassing because the... The definition of harassment is um, multiple points of contact over an extended period of time. If it's once, it can't be harassment. That's, that's yeah. the thing people often don't realize. You can't harass somebody once. Harassment, yeah. by definition, is an ongoing process. Yeah. So if I say fuck him once, I guess I'm fine. All right. Uh, fuck him for cheating on his wife. Not cool shit. Don't do that. If you're, if you're going to cheat on somebody, fucking break up with them, because you shouldn't be with them in the first place. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's my opinion. That's my yeah. onion. Your don't onion. don't oppress my onions, guys. <laughs> it's not cool. Amanda, were you laughing at my onion? Yes. Fucked up of you. What the I fuck? Know. What the I'm fuck? I'm oh, a, I'm shit. A I, for I, forgot, I forgot you're I'm a Nazi. A oh, yeah. You don't give a shit about feelings? I don't give a shit about anything. Yeah. 
except for making sure the form is good on those goose steps, am I right? Son of Twitch, there goes the partnership. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna like check. It. Oh, what's his most recent stream when he submitted this? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Your building's getting plundered. Oh, it's the Croft. The Croft always gets plundered because it's outside of the wall, so it doesn't get much defenses. But I don't care because the stuff there has like no value anyway. So whatever. Well, oh, oh, Metalizer doesn't like your onion. Yeah, we're we're, we're kind of going kind of fast and loose here with the um. With the gameplay not, like, taking it super, super seriously. Uh, but that's fine. Okay, let's go have a kid, because we're, like, 35. We should probably have a kid already. Thanks for following, Tree Boar. Welcome to the flock. And, um... Herenera? Herenera? Welcome to the flock. Hope that, uh, you two enjoy the stream. Goose Step, are we in Prussia now? Hey, in Europe Universalis 4, the Goose Step is part of the Prussian, uh, military tradition. And they're a very, very good country to play. Mm. Helps uh, military organization, I believe. A lot of people I... think goose stepping was a Nazi thing. Nazis did it, yeah, but um, it was also just a, um, a military discipline thing. If that's all it is, yeah. find the most. Not defending the Nazis, by the way, before anyone, any fucking moron somehow thinks this is defense of the Nazis. Uh huh. Fucking scourge of the modern world, not defending them. <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, I'm into this little thing called democracy. I know communism's really popular for some baffling reason right now, despite the 0% success rate. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say democracy uh, might be a little bit cool. A building. I know it's not counterculture enough for some people, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say democracy's got a pretty good track record. At least when you compare it to fascism and communism. It's funny, when a lot of people proclaim well, to be yes. communists or, or to want communism, yeah. they describe a society that sounds a lot more socialist than communist. Yeah, and also what they describe has no- they clearly have no knowledge of history. It's another one of those things. Oh, it's a, they magically don't know anything about history, and usually, in general, have zero regard for That's what anyone what who has anything negative to say about it uh, has mm -hmm. to say. They don't. They don't listen at all to the criticism of it. Mm -hmm. This stream: Nazis, turkey fucking, and fucking couches. We talked about fucking couches. I don't remember that part. I don't remember that. Yeah. Welcome to a typical MDB stream. <laughs> yeah. Especially when I have a co-host, it gets really bad really fast. It goes from educational to this. Oh, yeah, boy, we're at 71 right now. <laughs> I'm a believer of Akbarism. We pr we praise uh, traps. That's pretty popular <laughs> nowadays. Like um, Thanks for following. N-L-C-R-E-A-P. I can't tell if you want me to pronounce that or just say it because it's in caps lock. Welcome to the flock. <clears throat> All right, our wife is with child, so we will have a child soon. 69 viewers. No, we're at 70 on my end. In my end is what matters. <laughs> In my novelization. In my novelization, we have 70 viewers. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, did um wait? Did you say in the past you were socialist or communist at one point? Oh yeah, when I was like fucking twenty, I thought communism was cool. Uh, but that's what happens when you start a YouTube show and you're eighteen. Yeah. You think stupid things and they get aired and people think them forever because they don't hear the update. <laughs> it's just it's just how that happens, unfortunately. You now have a daughter. I got it. I got a daughter. Her name is Luke. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I, I, uh, I thought communism was cool for a while, and then I fucking, like, researched at all. <laughs> I was like, ooh, mm, that's a bad death record. Oh, shit, this is why collectivism doesn't work. Ooh. And then, uh, and I smartened up a little. You know, <laughs> turns out you can actually learn from past mistakes. Uh, someone's got, some people got a clue in on that one. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of people who just, just don't. Just don't. They don't learn from from past mistakes, and then they just think stupid things forever. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, 
When I was a teenager, I was goth, and then I realized how fucking cringe I was. Some people can pull it off. I mean, I, I didn't look bad as a goth, I just realized I was cringe. Teenage goth can be really cringy. <laughs> yes, I was so I'll cringe. put it that way. I think some people can pull it off. Yeah. It's a style some people can pull off, and some people definitely can't. <laughs> some people definitely can't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that needed emphasis. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like saying cringe is cringe? I avoid the word for the most part, but that's the thing is like, it, it is a word that actually has like a proper use, and that's why I use it very, very rarely. Yeah. Because I don't like, I'm not the kind of guy who just walks around the house, I'm like, uh, cringe. Someone had fun today. Cringe. I hate that. I hate yeah. that shit. Uh, but like, if, if, what I cringe at is secondhand embarrassment. That gets yeah. me. I hate that. Like, the thing is, like, yeah, some people like, some people like shit like that. Like, they enjoy watching stuff that makes them cringe. I don't. I hate it. Like, it's so I, uncomfortable for me. I love it. Because I sympathize with them. And so, like, I, I, it feels bad. It feels like I'm there in that moment. It's uncomfortable. I don't want to be there. Like, shows like The Office. Oh, I can't watch that shit. No, that, that's, like, too much cringe for Because me I, I can't do it, because when I watch it, I feel like I'm in the office. Not one of the people doing it. I feel like I'm in the office, I just don't want to fucking be there. Yeah. It's like, oh, God, I don't want to be here for this shit. Yeah. I haven't oh. seen the American one, but the English version is just hardcore, and, and I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. It's It's so embarrassing. But, like, those cringe compilations, like, on YouTube and shit, like, people acted a fool in public and shit. I can't, I can't do those. I love it. <laughs> you know what I do when I want good quality entertainment? I just, I just watch wrestling. I just watch wrestling. Anyone in the chat seen this week's 205 Live? So, 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 so fucking good. This week's episode of 205 Live. Holy shit. Was it great? <laughs> but no, people are like, yeah, 205 Live. It's shitty. I've watched every episode ever of 205 Live. Great show. So good. You can watch it free online. I'm not going to say where. You can watch it free online. I don't watch it free online because I pay for the network because I'm not an asshole. But you can watch it free online. <laughs> you know, if you just want a taste test. It's <laughs> cheap. 10 bucks a month. WWE Network. And you get so much good shit with it. Awesome. All the pay-per-views they've ever done, except for like one or two. I think you can even watch Over the Edge 1998 on the nice. network. That's the one where Owen Hart died. They cut out him dying, obviously. Damn it. That's what I came for. <sighs> you monster. Well, you're a Nazi, <laughs> so. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know the joke, by the way, she's not actually pro-National Socialist Party. No. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know the joke, it's just she's German. That's it. Yeah. That's, yeah. like that's the whole joke. She's German. <laughs> Two of five live. Buddy Murphy is fucking insane edition. I know, right? I've been singing his praises for years, and like people have been like, "Buddy Murphy, wasn't he in that take team?" I thought was boring for no reason. Um, and then I'm just, and then I'm like, no, 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 no. You gotta watch this guy. He's really, 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 really good. And then they're like, you're fucking wrong because you're stupid and I hate you. And then they watch it and he's really good. <laughs> it's awesome. Is anyone else fucked a couch? It seems like a thing. I've heard of people who put like a hollowed out cucumber in a couch and they fuck it. Those people are called sad and pathetic and they haven't heard of their right hand. Jesus Christ, people, get it together. <laughs> I'm a German birthday destroyer who only cares about dogs. That birthday destroyer. About... That's your <laughs> finisher. <laughs> sounds right. Speaking of, my dog is cold. I have to turn on my heat for her. Oh. I know. Like... I'm physically incapable of feeling cold, but when she shakes, I feel bad. Don't you live in, like, fucking Georgia? I do, but it still gets cold here. How cold does it get in Georgia? I was under the impression it, like, didn't even Dungeon snow. Has been interrupted. Uh, it snowed three times this year. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah. Because uh, when, I, when I think Atlanta, Georgia, I'm thinking, like, sweltering humid heat. Uh, that's how it gets in the summer and spring, but, like, we get about two months of winter, and it can get pretty hard. 
Yeah, never thought about it that way. Yeah, right now it's about, uh, I think it's like five degrees Celsius right now. Hernandez just said one of the funniest things I've ever heard when referring to the WW Network. Came for Jericho, stayed for Benoit. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Hernandez. That is one of the funniest wrestling jokes I've ever heard. Holy shit. Oh, did you come up with that? Or is that something, is that like something doing the rounds that I haven't heard of? That's really funny. <laughs> Oh my god, I misread that, Mandy. <laughs> I'm sure that is <laughs> as as a fucking uh, uh, Allahu wonder bar. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Like I'm allowed to say that, folks. My wife is fluent in in Arabic, and that means I'm immune to being called racist. German, eh? Greetings from the Netherlands. Yeah, we got a lot of, um, got a lot of Dutch in the chat, just in general, for years now. I don't know why I'm so popular in Netherlands, but, um, I am! So, I thanks, guys. It. I appreciate it. It's good to see so many. Netherlands is a cool country. I was actually just talking with my friend, uh, Gull of Doom the other day about politics in Netherlands. A lot ah. of fun. I mean, not necessarily fun. It's depressing, largely, talking about politics, but we have fun doing it. <laughs> he's a really nice guy. If anyone... Uh, a lot of people will probably run across him just because he's, like, number one tutorial guide guy on Terraria. Like, 135,000 subscribers and stuff. Cool. Really nice guy. I like him. Um... Randabi and uh, Fatima legally married now. We just call each other husband and wife. Because legally, we are because it's Canada. Um, in Canada, we have common law marriage laws that are, like, insane. Like, you can be accidentally married to a roommate here. Oh, wow. uh, like, if you've lived together for three months, you're common law married. It's, like, Whoa. that shallow. <laughs> so, yeah, legally, we are common law married. We just haven't had a ceremony, which we're not really planning on a ceremony. Anyway, we just want to go get our marriage license officially at some point. Yeah. But, you know, legally, common law, yeah, we are married. Well. This is, we're engaged, but we're also married because common law marriage laws in Canada are very strange. A lot of people hate the common law. In fact, I hate the common law laws in Canada because there's so many uh, instances of, like, relationships going bad and breaking up because they lived each uh, together long enough. One of the two in the relationship was a fucker and tried to get, like, a divorce settlement for just being girlfriend and boyfriend because they lived together uh, long enough. Because uh, one of them's a scum lord. That happens so much in Canada. It's awful. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're getting a prenup, even though we don't think we're ever going to break up. We've been together for, like, a decade. Um, and we're still getting a prenup because it's just safe in Canada. In Canada, the courts favor the women so fucking hard that we're getting a prenup just in case when neither of us get fucked if we ever were to get a divorce. Because we're nice and we love each other and we give each other that kind of thing. Some people think of prenups and they're like, what, you're banking on the possibility you may get divorced? No, it's just smart. It's the smart and loving thing to do is to make sure that the person you care about doesn't get fucked if something were to happen. Right. You never know what's going to happen, guys. Just don't, don't, don't be reckless. Yeah. All right, we're making cakes now, which looks suspiciously like pies. Uh, they sell for shitload of money. Each one is selling currently in the market for $400. Oh, I have cake. I really want some cake. A piece of bread is like 20 bucks. A cake is 400. Fuck oh. yeah. I want some cake and tea. Ooh, I could kind of go for a tea right about now. I haven't had tea in a couple days, actually. I drink a lot less tea now that I drink a coffee every day for my heart. Um, just because I, I don't want too much caffeine in it and my sleeping is bad enough as is. I played a game called Stardew Valley. I got like a hundred hours on Stardew Valley. That game is awesome. I've been drinking a ton of oolong tea just to make myself feel better. Hey Mandy, do you play uh, Stardew Valley? Uh, no, I don't. I've always been interested, but I've never tried it. 
It's very good. I think you'd like it. You know, they've been working on multiplayer for a long time now. I don't That's know what multiplayer would be like in a farming simulator, but fuck it. I bet you it's fun. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Cesar says, I'll never get married because of all the shit I've seen in my own family with couples splitting up. Um, especially between my never married parents. Marriage is one of those things where I think it's less necessary now than ever. But don't, I would never shit on marriage. That's the thing. Some people, I think, take it too far and they're like, oh, fuck, marriage is bad. Marriage isn't bad. Just, just get married or don't get married. It's totally up to you, you know? I actually have to get married. Oh, because of immigration laws, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It it's the best way to become a citizen so I can live with Dylan. Like yeah. No, well, you're gonna have to get on that. Yeah. Get on, get on the marriage train. Choo choo. We're working on it. All right. What am I gonna? How do I want to advance the business right now? Sorry, I gotta think about the game. I've been on autopilot this whole time, so I've been not doing a ton either than just like slowly building up the business. Honestly, I could build it up a lot faster if I was investing more in the public house. The public house is usually a good money maker, but I'm pretty much just automating that. Um. Ooh, my neck is hurting. Oolong? Oh, was someone... I saw you say he's named after the T. Was someone talking about Dragon Ball? Yeah. Yeah, the pig named Oolong is named after the T, because pigs associated with uh, the Chinese in Dragon Ball, he was dressed up like, like in a Mao suit. Mm -hmm. So, you know. You know how Dragon Ball is with naming conventions. Where, you know, uh, the... Was it the animals are named after teas? The, the, the sands are named after vegetables? Um, the Namekians are named after instruments, like wind instruments. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, each race is named after a different food thing. Yeah. Or food thing usually, but sometimes a different naming scheme, like instruments. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, you know, it's made by Toriyama. He, he came from a background of comedy manga, so, you know. After marriage, you can make married combat noises, <laughs> says Ash. <laughs> Shit, that's really good. <laughs> Dylan was actually just here, like I sent him home last week. Yeah, I saw on Facebook. I almost never go on Facebook. I check like once a month to see if anyone messaged me on the, the Facebook group. And mm -hmm. then I, I saw some pictures of you two together and I think I liked one of them. Yeah. But I don't like you, so don't don't go thinking that like we're friends or something. Yeah, I, I would never. That's really gay of me. Yeah. <laughs> Having friends is gay. Gay. Homosexual. <laughs> What's the name of the guy you're playing as? It's uh, it's John Luke. Yeah. From Duck Dynasty. Yeah. Who the fuck um, you think it is, bitch? So so Dylan came down. Um, I always get him a flight with KLM because uh, he really likes to visit Amsterdam before it comes over. And um, I don't kill know Lego he... men. Yes. I don't know if you know about KLM. I don't. But, uh, the King of Holland will sometimes pilot a KLM plane because he has a pilot's license and he really likes to fly. Okay. So we always just assume that whenever Dylan's flying over here, he's being piloted by the king. <laughs> like... Weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love it. So, um... Like, originally we would choose KLM because it was cheap and he liked to visit Amsterdam, but uh, now we just do it because we really like the idea that the king is flying him over here. Ash says, so you saw a picture and you like, uh, of them and you liked it, but which one? Not Mandy. Oh god, no, of course, it was for Dylan. <laughs> of course. They're going Liking to rub beards a together one day. Of, yeah. I think Fatima made that promise for me or something. <laughs> she did. Yeah, we have to rub beards at some point. It's gonna be really <laughs> awful. <laughs> Mine's gonna eat his. He doesn't stand a fucking chance. He doesn't know what he's in for. He really doesn't. Yeah, he is fucked. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sorry, he is up. combat noises. <laughs> All right, we just started our windmill so we can start grinding up our own flour. <laughs> All right, we really need some uh, ho wheat, <laughs> ho -wheat. in here. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how you say ho white if you're a racist. <laughs> <laughs> I 
it's right. I'm I'm completely correct, right? <laughs> Have you ever hear, heard those like really old like really well dressed white supremacist dudes <laughs> who say yes. white? Are yes. they not the funniest? They are. It's like I can't tell if they take themselves too seriously or if they like. It is like recessive English or whatever it's called, like re <laughs> recessed pronunciation or whatever in England, where like they're taught to speak a certain way that's not a natural <laughs> accent. It's the funniest shit. They're like fucking comic I can't people. take them seriously. They are, yeah, it's like this weird comic book villain thing where like they're just sitting back in a chair and like all they do is like smile with this like weird crooked smile and they're like the cal <laughs> they're the calmest people in the world and they're like, and they just sit back and they're like, well, we, we, um, we're we're getting many in our flock of the 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 white race. We need to we need to secure the American South for the white voter. And it's like, and it, it's like so happy. And it's like, I'm not afraid of you at all because you're the least threatening person in the world, and you are so obviously stupid. Like, these things you're saying are so fucking dumb. It's like the it's like the fucking leader is sitting in an armchair with a cat. Yeah. <laughs> but not like not like Velnik, yes, we will yeah, we will <laughs> conquer the black No, it's just Yes, we will uh <laughs> that, that right there. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Secure for the white the white race. And it's like it's like what what is this accent you're going for? It's not southern, it's not northern, like you made this shit up. It's the fucking Maximilian Pegasus. Hank Hill, no, it's not Hank Hill, they just There's there's like a tinge of Texan in there, but it's decidedly not Texan, Damn. you know? It's like if if Hank Hill became a supervillain. Oh, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's wonderful. It's those are the ones that no one takes seriously too. So that's what I love. Yeah. Because like you don't ever need to worry about them convincing anyone who wasn't already racist. Because only the people who are already racist fall for those guys. Yeah. The ones you gotta look out for are the ones that are like firebrand preachers. Yeah. Because those guys actually like get people who weren't racist in the first place and like trick them. Because they whip people up into an emotional frenzy. The fucking white race. Those guys aren't convincing anyone who wasn't already racist. Don't worry about those guys. Those guys aren't your problem. Don't worry about them. Of course we got on this subject. Why wouldn't we? Of course. Oh my goodness. There's no goodness when talking about the white. The white. <laughs> the white. The white. The white. I don't know how they do it. They have an H noise in there and yet it's so subtle. And yet you always hear it 100%. Yeah, I know. God, it's, it's, it's a, they have to like practice, right? They practice they that? To. Yes. I, like, I imagine they have these warm ups in the morning. Someone like, when they wake up. Money. Oh, they have like, these vocal money. warm ups. Uh, someone whose name is in dark blue, so I basically can't read it. Um, what are you doing on Twitch? I must have missed a big development in the last year. Yeah, uh, video over on YouTube. I explain the whole thing. It's like half an hour, uh, or else I just recap it here. Azubu bought Hitbox, then shat the bed really hard, so we're back. Hitbox was great, Smashcast wasn't. Hi. That's the super, super short version, but the video is pretty good. Go watch the video. And, mm -hmm. and turn off ad block. And then also uh, donate, like, all of your money. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to do those other parts, but, you know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Tag teamed that one. That convinced him. Oh, uh, Luke Luke is eligible for school. Fuck. I gotta educate the kid. <laughs> I forgot we named him Luke Luke. I mean, I don't have to educate the kid. But I want the kid to start with bullshit soon. Fuck you, kid. I don't care if you're tired yet. Uh, send to school. Uh, you can go to the the guild house school. That's pretty expensive, but I want you to have a good education. No, I'm too late for the guild. We're playing the guild two right now. What are you talking about? Dark blue name that I can't read. So I don't know about you, Mandy. What is the background color of your Twitch? Uh, white. 
Okay, I have it. Wait, uh, I have it on. I got it on dark mode because it it's better for like chroma keying out the chat background, so I can have my own layout. But uh, the unfortunate side effect of it is you can't read shit if it's in dark blue. Yeah. Uh, the beginning of it. Why the wolves? Oh, don't worry. It's uploading next week. I always upload all my streams the week after. All right. Well, we've we've dropped below seventy five viewers. I think we will still get that partnership. I'm I'm a little bit heart borked. Um, <laughs> my heart's a little tarted. I'm allowed to say tarted because I am tarted because I have uh, cerebral palsy. So diplomatic immunity. Suck my dick. I have dyslexia. Does that count? I don't think it does, but we'll say it does for the sake of- No, you, you've you got a tarted friend. I'm right here. <laughs> Wait, did I just admit we're friends? Shit, that was my first mistake. <laughs> that was your last mistake, too. <laughs> You're gonna kill me now? <laughs> yup. <laughs> I'm a Nazi. I kill all my friends. Wait, you're, you're friends with- Oh, man, I really under <laughs> misunderstood the Nazis. <laughs> Yo. Look, guys, it was all just one- It's a prank, bro. <laughs> it's a prank, bro. <laughs> Some Twitch staff's gonna take them. Look, Twitch staff, I know there are really good Twitch staff out there, but you guys have got to know why you've got a bad reputation, right? You guys know- The good ones out there, you guys know the bad eggs, and you don't blame us for shitting on them, right? Right? <laughs> right? Right? I don't- like, there's good Twitch staff, there's really good Twitch staff, but you guys know I the fuckers it. that give you a bad name, right? <laughs> like, you know why people hate those guys, right? Yeah. Oh, scum lords. <laughs> Lord of scum. I'll be your friend, Sassarus. Sassarus, we're all your friend. S Oh, I didn't know you had cerebral palsy, Sassarus. Yeah, we're cripple buddies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, we're both inadequate. <laughs> I just fist bumped myself really hard, like pretending like we did that, but I'm gonna break my wrist. Because we're okay. cripple buddies. <laughs> Look, I got cripple privilege. That's okay. People like me it. entirely because they pity me. <laughs> you can have it. It's it's fine. <laughs> Belgium? You mean South Netherlands? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Muscles from Brussels has got something to say about that. <laughs> That's some Jean Claude Van Damme's gonna fucking suplex you <laughs> and do the splits <laughs> while he does it. <laughs> <laughs> the United Nations is gonna sanction you for no reason over it. <laughs> I'm sorry, the EU, United Nations, is in New York. Although the UN will also sanction you for no reason, over because the UN's a shit show. I'm uh, not going to say anything that will get anyone in trouble. I'm just going to say that I know somebody who happens to be a poli-sci major, and because of that, they have access to documents that are not for public uh, use, and I may have seen some of these. And let me tell you, some of the internal writings of the UN is the craziest, most racist bullshit you've ever seen in your life. Oh, Jesus. Like, r like racist against Europeans specifically. And, like, I know that's a touchy subject with some people of whether or not you can be racist against them. Look, all I'm gonna say is there may be some Slavs who got genocided at some point, so maybe you can be racist against Europeans. Uh, however, there, there's some shit. There's some shit that some high-ups in the United Nations write that if you knew they wrote it, you would have no faith. Yeah. No faith in the United Nations. You'd be like, oh, I wasn't aware that they're literally lunatics. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they felt that way. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say anything good about them ever again. Yeah. You know, that caliber of stuff. Jesus Christ. A poli sci major, political science major. <laughs> poli sci. Yeah. Wherever it takes me. Yeah, I, <laughs> I feel sorry for poli sci majors because, man, you dudes need to real. You realize early how fucked everybody is. Jesus You're like, Christ. whoa, these are the people in charge? Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. oh shit. 
Like, these, these are the people that get together as representatives of our countries? Oh, Holy no. shit. Oh, fuck. It's like, how is it every country picked their dumbest representative? Oh, no. Oh, why does no one respect this country? This country's pretty- Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I totally just did the Brandon O. Oh. That's how Brandon does it. The O, 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 O. Sam Skywalker says, that's why I want to go into poli -sci. Don't get me wrong, I bet you there's some good cathartic, like, shot and fright of laughs you get out of being a poli -sci major. Oh, Jesus. How long have I been streaming? I always start at, uh, I always start at four, so two hours ago. I think it's about time, I think it's about time to wrap it up for the day. Things are easing okay. off. I don't want my average to get too low, but I also don't want to dictate the stream's pace by the viewership too much. I want some tea. I think we're gonna stream some Domina next week because uh, Domina did really well last time we streamed like 95 viewers well. Mandy, you gotta come here for a Domina stream. Do you know what Domina is? I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna link you one of my Domina streams. It's just. I know it's a. I, it's I know just it's great. a pizza company. And I on that. Possibly the shittest joke in MDB show history and MDB gameplay and streams where you come for the worst jokes. We just hit our peak. I quit. Uh, let me just save that. Stream, subway, overwrite. Yes. I got my pizza from Domino. Everybody, stay here after the stream. We're going to raid somebody. Maybe, maybe we'll catch Gall of Doom this time. Yesterday we, we raided Gall of Doom. He was probably going to have a heart attack because he had four viewers when we went to raid him. But he had just ended, 10 minutes before we raided him, a, an 8 hour stream. Because we're that bad with timing. The description as well as a link to where you can watch this live on Twitch and participate in the chat. Stay tuned in the chat and we're gonna go raid somebody and we're all just gonna yee in the chat a whole lot and then follow Yee. them. Thank you everybody for watching and until next time, have a nice day.